Hi, I'm Darnell. I'm a Prak Malloy man, born and raised from Mani. We basically do almost every sport and we just make sure everyone participates. Sometimes we play like multi-sports and sometimes we go gather around in the gym, just get the energy burning, get the calories burning. Uh, we're here at the Shavi Clontarf Academy room and we're part of five uh, Clontarf Academies in the Chifley College network here in Mount Druitt. The Clontarf Foundation exists to improve the life outcomes, life skills, self-esteem and employment of young Aboriginal men and Torres Strait Islanders in Australia. I've been struggling a little bit lately, but Clontarf here, they helped me to go, like, so I come down here just to calm down, have a little talk, and then they take me to class and then I get back to work. And they help me just to, just to, just to accomplish stuff. First of all, when we go into the life of these boys at around 12 years of age and we don't leave them ever, so they stay with us for the rest of their life, they can always come back, they know that. But when they finish school, we've prepared them for five or six years being getting ready for work, but then we place them into work. Here at Painter Dixon, we've been in the business for over 50 years, but it's also important that we have partnerships and strong partnerships, and we make sure our partnerships align with the community. We chose to support Clontar Foundation for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander young men where we work in the community and can support them. What's really great about Painter Dixon is how heavily involved in the academy you are and I think my, my theory with partners is you guys are obviously investing yourselves and your company's money so for you to be, get to be hands on and see where it's going and you know, meet the boys and be a part of their educational journey, I think is really important. And Clubs are all about community and that's that's where this fits so well with the club network is that these guys, the Aboriginal and the Indigenous kids are all about community. If we get the mix right, it's a really good fit for the clubs to be involved in this as well because at the end of the day, it's all about trying to bring community together to look out for people that need help and that's what the clubs do well and that's what Clontaff does exceptionally well. So the Workers' Lifestyle Group has in its ethos a commitment to sport and amateur sport and being a community partner. But we have a prime focus on rugby league in this space, so much so that Clontarf was a natural partnership enough with us, given we are in the rugby league business, I guess you could say, as a community entity. We've built stadiums uh, and a stadium specifically for rugby league. That was also used by Clontarf for their regional finals last year, so we had 45 teams running around playing sport down on the grounds at the sports club. So our commitment to sport allowed us to partnership with Clontarf, which allowed us to really talk about sport in general and rugby league thereafter. Clontarf Foundation is a foundation really derived around utilising sport within communities and First Nations people to give everyone the opportunity. Uh, for us, it's a key pillar for both our staff, our management, and fundamentally, uh, uh, as a family-based business, we really try to leverage those communities that we live, play and interact with on both a social, a personal or a work level um, to really leave something better. So. For us, it's, it's a very important key factor and we've seen the great work they've done uh, within a range of communities and, and we just wanted to be a part of it. Yeah, so we just go bushwalking and you know, that and we go see like other places. So when we went to Broken Hill, went to go see all these Aboriginal paintings and all that. We seen the handprints up point to the men's meeting place and all that. Yeah, it was cool. I plan to go to year 12 and finish going, maybe go to uni, maybe get a trade, never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I have lots of mates. I'm like, they're like trustable, like reliable, everything. And um, I really want to see them when I grow up. 